referendum result last week in Turkey shows that democracy is not dead. On the contrary, despite the unfair electoral environment, the intimidation of the no campaigners and the massive control of the media by the government, half of Turkey's population showed that they are ready to push back for the democratic future of their country. The EU must fiercely support those forces. The International Observation Mission was clear in its assessment. This was not a fair election. And the controversial decision of the Electoral Council to allow last minute unstamped ballots to be counted in also put serious questions about whether these elections were free. And I therefore welcome the Commission's stance that it will insist on an independent in investigation into the alleged irregularities. But 16 April was also a sad day for all Democrats because it is clear that with such a constitution, Turkey cannot become a member of the EU. As I also wrote in the draft annual report I published today, the EU should officially suspend the accession process if the constitutional changes are implemented unchanged. Having said that, we have to be vigilant that justified criticism on Erdogan's policy does not turn into anti-Turkish sentiments, as we sometimes unfortunately see in this house. There are millions of people in Turkey that do share the same European values. Millions that do want the EU to remain the anchor for reforms in their country. And therefore, I also don't agree with those in this parliament who vote to scrap Turkey for once and for all as an EU candidate country. Also in Turkey, changes are possible in the future. And I continue to believe in a joint future for Turkey and the EU, but I'm also realistic to acknowledge that this is unlikely to happen under the current political leadership in Turkey. Even if talks are suspended, Turkey-EU relations remain to be in our joint interest. Cooperation should therefore continue in several areas. However, that cannot be a value-free transactional relationship only where human rights and democracy are no longer important. To achieve this, we can use the, the economic power of the EU as a leverage for promoting reforms in Turkey, for instance, by adding clear political benchmarks to the upgrade of the customs union. Thank you.